everybody. Uh, my name is Alice Balpitta. I'm your Baltimore Harbor waterkeeper, and I'm coming to you live right now from the bathroom. Um, this is actually my parents' bathroom. It's a much nicer bathroom than my own bathroom. But anyway, I'm here with you today to share a very quick public service announcement. Um, so I don't know about you, but over the past week or so, every single time I go to the grocery store, um, I get a little depressed every time I go down the uh, toilet paper aisle because for the past week or so, there's been no toilet paper every single time I go. I know that they're restocking, um, they're getting more supplies in stock, everything's fine, but every time I go, there's no toilet paper. So everybody knows that you're only supposed to flush toilet paper, right? Everybody knows that. Um, but I don't think everybody really knows why that's the case. So I'm here to tell you today because when there's none of this on the shelves, this starts to look like a pretty good uh, substitute. And I'm here to tell you today why this is not a good substitute. So for those of you who can't tell, um, these are paper towels. So my fear is that when people go to the grocery store, they see there's no toilet paper left. Um, this is a hot commodity, by the way. I gotta save this for later. Um, they're gonna try to flush this. They're gonna try to flush toilet, pa or sorry, uh, paper towels down the toilet. And the problem with that is that toilet paper is meant to get wet. It's meant to break down when it gets wet. Um, it disintegrates in our sanitary sewer system if you live in the city, or in your septic system if you're up somewhere more rural. Um, and it breaks down and then it, it, get, it disintegrates as it's supposed to. It can get treated in wastewater treatment plants. Everything's good. Paper towels, on the other hand, as soon as you flush these bad boys down the toilet, um, they get stuck in the pipes. These things are actually made to stay together when they get wet. So if you flush something like this, it's not gonna disintegrate easily in your pipes. Um, it's gonna create something called a grease ball. And a grease ball is like um, bricks and mortar inside your pipes, which is something that you don't want. So paper towels mixed with uh, shampoo and floss and Q-tips and all the other nasty stuff that people really shouldn't be flushing down the toilet, but they do. Um, those all coagulate and they make grease balls. And the problem with a grease ball is that as soon as you've got one in your pipes, no sewage can flow past it. So you get a sewage backup into your house. So just to make this point a little finer, I thought we would do a fun science experiment. Um, so you can share this with your friends. So as you saw, I just ripped up a piece of a paper towel. Um, so I'm gonna put this one in a jar. This is just regular um, two ply uh, toilet paper. Again, like I said, hot commodity. Don't tell anybody I've got it because they'll come knocking on my door. So this one is in another glass jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these both up with water so that you can see the difference between what's supposed to happen with toilet paper and really what's supposed to happen with paper towels. And the reason why it's so important that you never ever flush anything except for toilet paper down the toilet. Okay, so remember, mason jars during a pandemic, I'll tell you what. So remember, right now, if you just look at it, this one is the toilet paper. This one is the paper towel. They look pretty similar, so you're probably thinking to yourself, Alice, Baltimore Harbor Waterkeeper, what are you talking about? I can definitely flush both of those things down the toilet with no problem. But once these things actually get flushed down the toilet, uh, they start to break apart or not. So just after a couple of seconds of shaking up, you can see that on the left, the toilet paper has started to completely disintegrate. This is what's supposed to happen when something goes down the toilet. And the one on the right, the paper towel, is still completely intact. So paper towels are not supposed to be flushed because they're meant to stay together when they get wet. Toilet paper is designed to, to fall apart as soon as it gets wet, which is a really good thing for our septic systems and for our sanitary sewer systems so that it doesn't create that blockage that ultimately causes sewage backups. And I know that you know right now, we're all so aware of washing our hands all the time, of social distancing, which are all good things, but the worst thing that you could do right now is be exposed to raw sewage in your own home. Sewage that isn't even yours, potentially. So you wanna do everything you can to prevent a sewage backup into your home at this point. So yeah, there we go. Um, don't flush anything unless it's Toilet paper, definitely don't flush paper towels. And if you're in a situation where you only have paper towels and you don't have any toilet paper, 
and you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, you just got to throw it away um, in a trash bin in your own bathroom. So don't flush it. You can throw it away just like you would with like a baby diaper or something like that. I know it sounds gross, but it's going to be a lot less gross than having raw sewage flow up out of your toilet and infecting people in your household. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, I'm Alice, Baltimore Harbor Waterkeeper with Blue Water Baltimore, and you can show your friends uh, the proof. Ta-da!